Come, Christians, join to sing. Hallelujah, amen. Loud praise to Christ we bring. Hallelujah, amen. Let all with heart and voice before his throne rejoice. Praise is his gracious choice. Alleluia, Amen. Come lift your hearts on high. Alleluia, Amen. Let praises fill the sky. Alleluia, Amen. Christ is our guide and friend, on whom we can depend. His love shall never end. Alleluia, Amen. Praise yet our Christ again. Alleluia, amen. Life shall not end the strain. Alleluia, amen. On heaven's blissful shore, His goodness we'll adore, singing forevermore. Alleluia, amen. His gracious choice, Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Welcome po sa ating prayer covenant. Nagagalak po kami makasama ang bawat isa sa inyo. At bago po tayo mag-start, samahan niyo po muna ako sa isang maikling panalangin. Tayo po yung manalangin, Panginoon, maraming salawat po sa isang magbiyayang araw na binigay niyo po sa bawat sa amin, Lord. Be with us as we um, meditate in your word. May you open our hearts and minds, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ayan po, ang ating text for today ay matatagpuan po sa Luke chapter 23 verses 39 to 43. Let me read it for you. One of the criminals hanging beside him scoffed. So you're the Messiah, are you? Prove it by saving yourself and us too, while you're at it. But the other criminal protested, Don't you fear God even when you have been sentenced to die? We deserve to die for our crimes, but this man hasn't done anything wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus replied, I assure you, today you will be with me in paradise. Ayan, purihin po ang ating Panginoon sa pagkabasa ng kanyang salita. So, when we think of the time of Jesus' crucifixion, we always remember poignant instances or mga nakatatak na pangyayari during the whole duration of it. From the time He was whipped towards the time He walked with the cross on His shoulder and ultimately His death on the cross. Kung titignan po natin yung journey ng Lord to His crucifix ni, ni Jesus Christ sa kanyang crucifixion, it was all about suffering. And truly, it breaks my heart and probably your hearts too nung time na binabasa po natin ito or kunukwento sa atin or kung napanood po natin yung Passion of the Christ. Di ba po? Sobrang nakaka, nakaka-antig ng puso kahit yung mga kakilala pong medyo... Uh, matatapang or hindi talaga umiiyak first time ko silang makitang umiyak dito. So amidst all the suffering, he endured he endured. And all throughout of this, there are tidbits or mga kakarim, 
hindi naman po kakarampot. Mga siguro mga maliliit na moments in between his sufferings that Jesus offered peace and assurances to the people around him. Kasi imagine na lang po, di ba? Um, yung hirap na pinagdaanan ni Jesus Christ noong time na yun. And of course, yung mga people na talagang minahal siya as Jesus and also as the Messiah. Ang dami po mga tao, di ba po? Lalo, lalo po. Uh, si Mary, yung nanay niya, witnessed the suffering of his her, her own son. The son she bore for nine months, di ba? Parang very heartbreaking po talaga yung crucifixion ng Lord. And yet, even with the with all of the suffering, he offered peace and assurances to all of them. Even nearing his death, and despite the incredible pain of his wounds, and the burden he carries, he continued doing the work that his father had given him. To show God's grace, to show how God works, and how he loves us so. One of those small moments of peace and assurances is when he was already crucified between two other criminals. The story I read earlier po, from Luke. Dito po natin makikita yung famous verse and line ni Jesus na sinabi niya, I assure you, today you will be with me in paradise. In this brief moment, God's grace was realized. Maybe not to the masses, katulad ng gusto ng Lord, di ba? Gusto ng Lord lahat nakita, ma-realize yung grace na ginagawa niya for all of us. But the two men that are suffering alongside him. Instead, it appealed to the two men. Those two criminals, one which mocked and taunted the Lord, diba? parang minak pa niya si Lord, mamatay na nga siya, diba? minak pa niya si Lord, bakit kaya hindi mo nalang iligtas yung sarili mo? And habang nandun ka na rin, iligtas mo na din kami, no? Parang ganun. Nagde-demand pa siya, diba? While the other showed true repentance even in the midst of suffering. Putting this experience of pain and suffering in perspective, parang, sige po, lagay po natin ito in the perspective of what is happening in our lives. Wala po tayo siguro kapareha ng level ng suffering nila, di ba? Imagine the pain of being crucified, being humiliated in front of a lot of people. We do not, hopefully, we do not experience, hindi po ta- mga nanonood po ngayon, I hope na hindi po natin na-experience ng ganitong klaseng level, medieval kind of pain and suffering. Yet, with all of that that is going on in our lives, we can say that the pain they could have felt can be almost be the same as the pain that we are suffering. Most of us. Some of us are suffering with doubt, with sadness, and with heartbreak. Sometimes, these things are consequences of our actions. Or, kumbaga ba, ito yung um, end result or after effects ng ating mga desisyon sa buhay. And, minsan, hindi din po ako, ano dito, um, actually, hindi po ako excluded. Ako din po ay nagsasuffer. Ako din po ay naka-experience ng suffering, ng heartbreaks, ng sadness. Pero minsan po, Even in my lowest of lows, I find myself questioning God, almost like the first criminal. Minsan nga po, very argumentative pa ako sa Lord. Na God, bakit naman kailangan mo hayaan mangyari to? Bakit naman kailangan, hin- bakit hinayaan mo kung gawin tong decision na to? ba? Diba, ikaw yung savior ko, ba? Diba? Nagsuserve naman ako sa iyo, 'di ba? Nagiging faithful naman ako sa iyo sa simbahan. Then save me, parang ganoon. Parang do something, Lord, parang ganoon. Sometimes we tend to do this kind of questioning or line of words with God. Forgetting that he never really left. He was always there. And forgetting the suffering we we are in, we are experiencing whether it's emotional physical or whatever it is that we are suffering right now whatever it is na nagbring dinala tayo in our lowest of lows this suffering is only temporary because it's already been victor 
by someone 2,000 years ago for us. He already have the victory over it. And that means that after the pain, pain and the suffering, there's going to be joy after it. Jesus already suffered for us 2,000 years ago. Yes, you heard it right. The one I'm describing is Jesus Christ himself. Yung magbo-birthday po this December 25. <laughs> he already won the battle. Yes, I'm not invalidating anyone's feeling or suffering or experiences. You can be sad. You can be heartbroken right now. You can be full of doubt. You can be fu even full of anger, di ba? Or even be ashamed. Yet, in admitting that we are sad, that we are heartbroken, that we are in pain, that we are ashamed and, and, we, and we are in need of help. Just like the second criminal, despite admitting that he was wrong and Jesus wasn't supposed to be there with them, he acknowledged the Lord. He knew that Jesus doesn't have to suffer with them at the time. He did nothing wrong. Yet, what this criminal didn't saw was that Jesus is suffering with us, with him. And Jesus suffered already for us. For the future generation that will come after his time when he was alive in this earth. All you need to do, all we need to do is to acknowledge him. Acknowledge that you need help. That you need the Lord. That you need Him in your life. Call out to Him and ask Him to fill your heart. Acknowledge Him as your Lord and Savior. Let His power work through your life right now. And be assured that when the time comes, when the suffering of the world will end, and He had come again for us, that all of those who accepted Him as a Lord, God, and Savior, and kept faithful to Him, will be with Him in paradise. If kapatid, you have not yet accepted the Lord as your personal Lord and Savior, let me pray for you. And if you did, if you are saying, ah, Christiana naman ako, maybe it's time to acknowledge Him again. Let Him settle back in our hearts. Renew our faith in Him. Renew His presence in our lives. Pray with me. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come before you today with our hearts open wide. We recognize and accept that we are sinners. And we do have faults. But we come to you today, Lord God, to ask for your forgiveness. Envelope us with your presence, Lord. We give you our hearts. Remain in us as we acknowledge and accept Jesus Christ as our Lord, God, and Savior. May you walk with us again, Lord, and renew our hearts and minds. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Muli na naman po nating narinig at nasilayan ang isang napakagandang mensahe ng ating Diyos para sa atin ngayong umagang ito. Nawapatuloy tayong manalangin at itaas natin ng ating mga puso sa ating Diyos. Itaas natin ang mga bagay na nagbabagabag sa ating mga pag-iisip at nawa ngumiti muli ang ating Diyos sa mga problema ang kinahaharap natin. Nawapatuloy tayong kumapit sa Kanya. Tayo pong lahat ay mataimtim na manalangin sa oras na ito. Aming Diyos na patuloy na lumilikha sa Kanyang mundo, kami ay nagpapasalamat sa mga bagay-bagay na ipinagkaloob mo sa amin. Panginoon, maaaring may mga bagay o mga sitwasyon kaming kinahaharap ngayon na hindi namin naiintindihan. Ngunit Panginoon, ang pinapangako mo sa amin ay kami lamang dapat ay kumapit sa iyo, manampalataya sa iyo, kumapit sa mga bagay-bagay na kailangan naming harapin. Ipakita mo sa amin, Panginoon, na merong pag-asa sa lahat ng paghihirap na ito. At Panginoon, bigyan mo muli ng ngiti, at saya ang aming mga puso at isipan. Alisin mo ang aming pangangamba sa oras na ito. 
Panginoon, patuloy naming pinagdarasal ang mga bagay-bagay dito sa lupa na wa ito ay patuloy na maghubog na naaayon sa iyong kagustuhan. Panginoon, pinagdarasal po namin ang aming pangangatawang lupa na kung meron man po kaming nararamdaman na karamdaman sa oras na ito, nawa Panginoon, hawakan mo kami na ngayon nagpapagaling na kamay. Alisin mo ang mga sakit na nararamdaman namin. Ilayo mo rin po kami, Panginoon, sa mga sakit na maaaring makamatay sa aming mga buhay, Panginoon. Patuloy kaming naniniwala na ikaw ang aming doktor na nagpapagaling. Maaaring gamitin mo rin po ang mga nurses, ang mga doctors, mga gamot na aming uh, may encounter sa buhay namin na wa ito ay magpagaling sa aming mga pangangatawan at patuloy naming gagamitin ang katawan na ito upang pagsilbihan ka. Panginoon, pinagdarasal ko rin po ang lahat ng nagtatrabaho at mag-aaral na nakarinig ng mensaheng ito na wapatuloy mong bigyan ng kalakasan ng bawat isa. Bigyan mo ng katalinuhan upang kami ay makatanggap palalo ng aming mga pangangailangan dito sa aming pang-araw-araw na gawain. Bigyan mo kami ng katalinuhan upang maintindihan namin ang mga bagay-bagay na bago sa aming sistema. Bigyan mo rin po kami ng puso na na mag-uunawa sa lahat ng sitwasyon, lahat ng taong may encounter namin ngayong araw na ito. Panginoon, at gusto, la- gusto ko lamang din po ilapit sa inyo ang nalalapit na Philippine Central Conference ng United Methodist Church na wabigyan mo ang bawat isa ng panatagan sa mangyayari sa isang sitwasyon na ito. Nawabigyan mo ng katalinuhan ng mga delegates, Panginoon, na wa magkaroon kami ng ubispo na magtutuloy ng mga bagay-bagay na ikaw ang may gusto. Nawa, Panginoon, ang aming mga bagong ubispo na mahahalal ay patuloy na unahin ang paglago ng bawat isa at upang kami ay magamit sa patuloy na paghubog mo sa mundong ito. Panginoon, nagpapasalamat kami sa mga bagay-bagay na maaaring hindi din namin naiintindihan at patuloy naming kakapitan ng pangako mong pagyabungin kami. Panginoon, wala, lang, wala po kaming ibang hangad kundi mapapurihan ka sa aming buhay. Alisin mo sa amin, Panginoon, ang aming mga pusong makasarili. Alisin mo sa aming mga pangangatawan na unahin namin ang aming sarili. Nawa, Panginoon, patuloy naming gamitin kung ano man ang meron kami upang patuloy naming matulungan ang mga ma- mga taong mas nangangailangan kaysa sa amin. Nawa Panginoon, patuloy mo kaming tignan ng iyong nap- napakasaya at ngumingiting ngiti sa mga buhay namin. Nagpapasalamat kami Panginoon sapagkat binigyan mo kami ng kalakasan muli ngayong araw na ito. Ito lamang po Panginoon ang aming samot panalangin sa pangalan ng Ama at Anak at Espiritu Santo. Amen at Amen.